It's Apex Legends Season 5, and I got the best console settings for you in this video. Let's do it. Welcome back, Warriors, to another Apex Legends video. Today, I'm going to give you the best console settings for Apex Legends in Season 5, but we're going to go at it a different way. This video is going to be all about using the Advanced Look Controls, or ALC. I already have a video for the best console settings for this season with just the normal settings and my personal preferences, but in this video, we're going to break down the Advanced Look Controls, okay? If you're new here, be sure to subscribe and join the Warriors, guys, so you guys get all the tips and tricks to improve your Apex Legends game play now let's get into the video right, warriors welcome back so we're in the firing range i'm going to kind of showcase and we're going to go over the settings and then i'm going to kind of show you how they work inside the firing range guys so let's go pop into settings real quick we're going to go over to controller and we're going to go down to the advanced look controls as you guys can see these are my uh old if you will apex Legends settings from not using advanced look, control, look controls which is in that video which i'll link above guys very high uh, sensitivity and then ads is default by three you want to have a classic response curve you're going to need the classic response curve for this uh for these settings that i'm going to go over in this video so these are the old settings that i used to have in the menu cursor speed i believe is one two three four five six seven up so this is something that you still need to adjust when it comes to your best settings for uh apex legends season five so one two three four five six seven these are just mine if you want to copy these down feel free but we're going to get right into the advanced look controls all right so you're going to want to turn this on all right dead zone we're going to kind of go break down each one of these i'm going to read them and uh i'm going to kind of break down just a brief thing about what they do and why i have the settings this, this way so if you guys remember a few seasons ago, uh, one of the controller legends, Dal Touche, he um, got, you know, shown in advanced looks control settings. He tried them out. He really did like them. He posted a crazy clip that got an insane amount of views. Um, and then he quickly went back to his normal settings that he usually uses, which is classic um, respawn or uh, threshold with the dead zone. And then I think it was 5-3 or 4-4 four, four, or something like that. But anyway, so I've been tuning with these um for a little while now and i've been using them for the last few days and i wanted to share them with you guys because i have just been absolutely lasering and i feel like that these settings help me out in the mid to long range gunfights particularly with the scout which is one of the guns i have and i'm gonna showcase for you guys so just turn the sucker on dead zone this is the size of the inner range in which the stick input will not be registered smaller is generally better is better as more input allows for finer control so the higher this is the bigger dead zone and what this means is that when you go to hit your stick you have to you know the lower it is the more input allows for finer control so you can move it around a controller a lot better the higher it is the you know the less control that you have to do when you when you move the stick around so one two three i think it's two so normal dead zone i go two under guys if you want to copy these settings feel free or write them down the the dead zone numbers i'll have in the description below but dead zone is two below the normal outer threshold the width of the outer buffer defining the boundary of max stick input some controllers need a very slight amount this boundary also where any extra yard pitch settings will take effect so this is just the threshold of which when you're moving around okay the outer threshold just defines the max stick input that you would need to say look all the way one way or another up down etc so the normal i have this one above normal i think this is pretty pretty solid i haven't really noticed too much of a difference if you go you know one uh you know keep it on normal or just one higher but i like one higher it just feels a lot better for me response curve the shape of the magnitude remapping applied to the stick input allows sensitivity of the stick across the raw input lower values can feel too twitchy higher values can still feel too dull okay so this is the normal response curve okay this is the response curve when you're moving these sticks around okay normal is right here i have mine two below again this just feels really good it kind of allows me to have a little bit lower setting so if you were using the older ones it's probably going to be more of like a four or a three or it's going to feel that way all right so those are just mine per optic settings i have this off if you want to um, turn this on and mess with it feel free but i like all my settings the way it is and i'm going to show you how the settings between advanced little controls and normal feel different especially on like the scout in the higher uh scopes so yaw speed how quickly you go left and right pitch speed is how how quickly you go up and down now the normal now although this is way above normal or at least on the graph it's not going to feel that way and the reason is because of the response curve dead zones are below normal 
okay but one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven i have this eleven higher than normal one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven okay so this again these settings just feel really really good to me and you can adjust this if you get in and copy these settings and and you know it feels too slow or feels too fast please adjust accordingly to your to your um you know what you're used to or what you would like these are going to be different for everybody pitch speed looking up and down two three four five six seven eight nine two three four five six seven eight nine i, I just got to double count these because i feel like i forget one two three four five six seven eight nine okay so i have mine my pitch speed nine so we got 11 and nine on the yaw and pitch speed i want to be able to turn left and right or you know side to side a lot faster than looking up and down it also helps you when you're uh hip firing so that's what i have turning extra yaw pitch speed ramp time delay and ramp up time all turned down okay all of this just kind of adds an extra amount on top of your you know your yaw and pitch speeds you don't need them for this okay turn them all the way off you don't need those now ads speed the yaw speed for this and the pitch speed is the same exact thing as your normal yaw and pitch speed okay and these are going to adjust when you're looking down scopes okay so the normal is you know actually not bad at all just felt a little slow so one two three four five my uh left to right is five above one two three four five and my up and down i believe is three one two three yeah one two three so five and three so you got eleven and nine five and three okay now the yaw speed is how quickly you turn left and right when you're aiming or when you're swaying you're adsing you know things like that when you're ducking up and down and the same thing with the pitch speed when you're looking up and down guys so feel free to adjust these any way that you want but uh five and three on these when you're adsing just felt really really good i had these a little bit higher before i adjusted them i came into the firing range and made a quick change but five and three on these just feel really really good now the ads turning extra yaw okay going left and right all right i kept this on normal i used to have it off along with the other ones you're not going to need the other three but the ads turning extra y'all it just this is the main one that makes it you know when you're adsing with the higher scopes this is the difference maker right here for, for me at least this is the way it feels okay so this is how much more quickly you turn left and right when aiming allows for quicker turnarounds without sacrificing fine control okay so i have this just on normal the other ones you can turn all the way down now down here, this is where people get a little bit uh, mixed up, I think, but target compensation, guys. Target compensation and melee target compensation are is essentially your, um, you know, it's your, your aim assist. Okay, so turn these on. For the love of God, turn these on. You're playing on controller, turn these on, please. Okay, do not have this off, turn this on. So once you have all these settings, you guys, you can pause the video and copy these, but try these settings out, and then we're gonna go in here and take a look at these. So. As you can see when I'm running around and I'm just looking left and right, it's it's pretty fast. And when I'm looking up and down, it's the same thing. Now look at the the you know the aim assist when I'm looking at this guy. If I'm moving left and right, right? See how it pulls? See that pull? Now if I'm ADSing, that's full speed. See how much slower it gets around my guy? Okay. And I just laser. Now I want to show you the scout. Now before, let's go into my settings real quick. Okay, I'm gonna turn advanced look controls off. Okay, I'm gonna turn them off and I wanna show you, see how you know it, it really catches? And then if I'm moving around, it just doesn't feel as good, okay? So now let's go back into the settings and I'm gonna put advanced look controls on. All right, now when I'm aiming, look how much faster that is. It's so much faster. And then you still have the pull onto the target, right? From your aim assist, but it just feels so much better when I'm aiming at somebody. I can quickly get out. You can just feel the, you know, like you just slay out with this thing, man. The aiming just feels so much more precise, okay, than you do with almost any other gun. And it just, I don't know why, but these settings have just really done well for me. Really done well. And you can just slay out with these settings, guys. And these are, again, these are with no attachments. And this is all advanced load controls, okay? All advanced load controls. Just instantly just lasering people, guys. Oh, my God. They just feel so good. Especially with the scout, right? Especially with the scout. And I'm just pulling. Right? I'm just pulling around. Come in here. We can go in and do some... Crazy ADSing, 
you just really get that pull and it just feels like a, a god dang laser god dang laser guys okay so finish that off so guys these are my advanced look control settings please go try these out make a few adjustments if you need to but these are the settings i'm going to be using going forward unless they change something in season six all right i really hope that this video helps you guys out um you know these settings i've been messing around and i might tweak them a little bit more and if i do i'll give an update video to you guys or i'll update them up on twitter uh but these settings have been absolutely insane and they improved my aim uh exponentially when it comes to playing apex legends the old settings are still really really good guys so if you enjoy those make sure to drop a like on that video but these settings i'm going to be using going forward i advise you to try them out let me know what you guys think down in the comments guys let me know what you think of advanced look controls okay let me know what do you think about these settings what do you think about you know these compared to just the normal settings? let me know down in the comments if you like that if you're uh if you did enjoy this video guys Drop that like button, thumbs up, okay? Uh, we're almost 700 subscribers. I can't thank you guys enough. I'm gonna continue to do that in these videos because the support has been insane. Uh, if you're new here, subscribe and join the Warriors, guys, so you get all the best tips and tricks to improve your Apex Legends gameplay. And as for me, Warlog, as always, guys, stay gaming. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.